Recently, I've been getting prepared for some trips upcoming this fall, but I realized I need something very important and that would be fuel. And I didn't really know how to store it on the FJ, so I think I found a solution. Let's go to the back and I'll show you. So ultimately, I decided on using Rotopacks for my fuel, which a lot of people use, and for obvious reasons, they are just simply the best. And what I stumbled upon was a mount made by Refined Cycle and Off-Road. They make a little Rotopax mount that you can fit two two-gallon Rotopacks on. And as you can see, the Rotopacks aren't on here. And before I even start this video, I wanna do a disclaimer. This is not a how-to video. I'm not gonna show you exactly how you need to put this thing together. Refined Cycle actually is a really good instruction sheet. So you don't even need a video for it. It's actually easier just to look at the sheet and do it. But what I will do is explain kind of how this goes on just so people understand what you're mounting to. And actually I put this together yesterday. I'm still waiting on the rotor packs, but we're gonna get those and we're gonna test them out and then we'll kind of finish the video from there. But what this thing is, is it is literally four pieces. That's it. There's a piece that goes here into the hinge. There's a piece that goes to the tire carrier, a piece that bridges them, and then the piece that holds the rotor packs. So what you gotta do, you gotta open the door, you gotta take the hinge cover off and put the hinge plate in. There's a few steps you need to do. It's not that hard. You don't need any existing bolts. They actually give you everything you need for this. So you take that apart. Then once you bolt the hinge plate on, there's another bolt which actually keeps the hinge close to the door. That way it's not rubbing on the side, which it did at first until I put that bolt in. Once you put that bolt in, it's fine. And then what you have to do is you have to take the tire carrier off. So obviously take the tire off, take the tire carrier off, unplug the wiring harness, and then you slide the little triangular piece in. And that is pretty simple. You just slide it in, add a washer, and then on the other side, you actually add three washers to kind of space it out and make it even. So that's really simple. And you put that back into the door. And again, you don't have to use existing bolts. You use the bolts that they give you and they make it a lot easier doing that. And then from there, it's even simpler. The bridge literally just bridges the hinge plate and the tire carrier plate. And that is super easy. And the last thing you gotta do is put on the mount for the rotor packs. And on this bridge here, there's actually two slots that you can slide the mount back and forth depending on how your rotor packs are mounted. Obviously, mine is not set up right. But let's actually go back to the shop, get the rotor packs mounted, do some testing on it, and uh, kind of figure out the pros and cons with this mount system here. I've had the rotor packs on for about a week. Do I think it's dope? Yeah. So over the past week, I've jostled these things around on some really rocky trails out here in PA. And I wanted to give you guys my initial thoughts on how I feel about this mount in particular. Now, the first thing I wanna start off with is the good. What do I love about this mount? Well, the first thing I love is the build quality. This thing is super sturdy. And as you saw in the earlier portion of the video, it is mounted to the hinge and behind the wheel carrier, so that makes it extra sturdy. And now obviously the steel is pretty thick, it's eighth inch, which to me, that is perfect for the rotor packs mounts. And another thing is, is that I like that it's powder coated, it's not gonna get all chipped up and weird. And also in general, I just love the look of this mount. It's clean, it's simple, it's not a lot of stuff going on, it's just a really simple mount, but it makes the rotor packs stand out and I like that. Now one thing that isn't advertised with this mount is that you can still use the locks pack on the rotor packs. Now on the rotor packs website, they say that if you're using double rotor packs and you use the locks mount, it doesn't work, which they are correct because you could technically just spin this thing right off and you'd get both of them. But what this thing has is this bridge back here, which I know this is not what it's intended for, but it actually is super helpful. So let's say you're trying to take rotor packs off, somebody's trying to see your rotor packs. You can go this first direction but you cannot go any further than that. And therefore you can't take the rotor packs off. Now, what is some of the bad with this mount? Now, the first thing I've noticed is it is very rattly when closing the door, which is kind of to be expected because these are heavy cans. So when you close the door, it rattles a little bit, it shakes around. So that's one thing that kind of annoys me, but it's no big deal. It's not like it's structurally unsound. It's just how it is because there's heavy gas cans on the back. And the only other bad thing I have about this mount is it can only fit two rotor packs. Now I knew this going into it, I wasn't planning to use four rotor packs on here until recently. I'm going to Maine and I need as much fuel as I can as we're in the North Maine woods and you'll see that in a few weeks. 
but I'm going to test out if this thing can hold four rotor packs. Now the big thing is, is obviously there's no other mount. You can't put another mount up here, but with this locking mechanism, you can lock two together. And I believe if I put this upside down, put one on top and strap them together, they won't come undone. So I'm gonna test out if this thing can hold four rotor packs full of fuel. Now obviously I don't recommend this until I actually try it because this may destroy it. But this is a common issue with most of the mounts I've seen. They can only hold two, which is honestly perfect for most trips. So to close this video out, this is one of the most solid Rotopax mounts that I've seen. Most mounts I've seen are not as sturdy. They're not mounting on two different points and the steel just doesn't seem as thick and as strong. But I believe this mount is going to last me a very long time and I'm excited to keep on using it. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.